Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sandeep Sharma, your pediatric super specialty faculty at Prep Ladder. And we have Dr. Akshay with us. Dr. Akshay has got rank 14, 1414 in the need assess pediatric exam, which in 2023. So it's our pleasure to welcome Dr. Akshay. Dr. Akshay, uh, congratulations for your great success in the exam. And uh, we welcome you to this interview. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. So, Akshay, uh, please uh, start with your background first. What place you belong to, from where you did your UG and PG, what are you currently doing? And uh, then we can take the interview forward. Uh, yes, sir, sure. Actually, I'm uh, from uh, Karnataka and I did my MBBS from uh, Wims Ballari and uh, I did my PG from uh, Jipmer Pondicherry and uh, currently I am uh, doing a starship in Delhi, actually. Okay, okay. So was this your first attempt or uh, you have given the attempts previously also? Huh. In my final year of uh, PG, I had given one attempt. And after that, like this is my second attempt in uh, NEET SS. Okay. So how did you find the uh, this exam different from the previous NEET SS exam? In how, what this exam and how it was different? This exam was much more difficult, I felt, actually, like comparatively. And uh, it was uh, mainly the time management was most important, I felt. Because, uh, like, I felt that uh, means you need to uh, start uh, uh, given importance to each and every question. Like, one minute for one question will be there. And uh, that was too hard uh, for this exam, I felt. For most of the people, even my friends and all were about this opinion only. Otherwise, the... Uh, quality of this paper was very good and uh, almost uh, moderate tough quality only. We needed to study a few concepts uh, and a uh, few clinical questions were there and uh, uh, means many from our clinical rounds which we uh, do in our day-to-day uh, uh, -day practice. That was also like one of the major things. But like we needed to study more and uh, uh, Priplatter is a very good platform actually where uh, we can... Uh, get to know about uh, means how exactly to go ahead with this uh, preparation and uh, to succeed in the sex. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it, it's lovely to hear that yeah, our efforts could be of some help in uh, you preparing for the exam. Since you talked about prep ladder, uh, uh, before we go into your preparation methods, um, what were the areas in prep ladder SS that you utilized? Uh, uh, videos, Q banks, test series, uh, were, were they yeah. beneficial in your preparation and how did you uh, incorporate them in your preparation? Uh, the, uh, means everything in prep ladder is so much important. Especially I want to tell that like uh, videos and uh, especially the test series are too good in uh, prep ladder. It is like very good. And uh, uh, even the grand tests and all like which is there that is of very good quality and uh, so many almost more than 1k people are attempting in pediatrics group alone which is mm -hmm. almost equivalent to the means uh, our neat uh, whole main exam only mm -hmm. so the rank which we get over there is almost equivalent to our uh, uh, neat ss exam only so and even the quality of questions are like pretty good and i really recommend uh, uh, them to uh, to the fullest and uh, one most important thing is that, like, uh, especially at the near the exam days, near uh, whenever the exam is uh, uh, almost uh, 15 days and all, like, yeah, uh, period. Uh, the preplatter has one very good uh, thing that, like, we can see the slides and notes in the app itself. So we can just go through the slides faster, and like, almost everything could be revised. A uh, whole of the pediatrics could be revised in last uh, 10 to 15 days. Just by seeing the slides, most of the things, whatever has we have read, we have revised and all, will be like just uh, running through our mind. And that matters the most, I feel. Like that part of revision, last 10 to 15 days, that matters the most. Because like so much is there in uh, pediatrics to remember. And uh, recall will occur only with the revision. And uh, the uh, means this notes and the slides and all will be like very important in... Uh, uh, going through this uh, uh, good rank of data Great, great, great. Glad to know that. So, uh, Akshay, uh, when did you seriously start preparing for the super speciality? Like, when did it strike to you that now you should get serious and start preparing? And how did you initially start? Actually, I seriously started uh, in the month of mid-March, uh, like that, like almost six months back. Uh, I actually, like, uh, felt that, like... Uh, Super speciality needs to be given and done. Uh, 
uh, that's why like when i actually st started seriously last uh, time when i wrote the neat ss exam i means did not perform that well i got uh, 200 rank like that and uh, but uh, that was like nowhere near to getting any good college so means at around march when i was doing my ss ship i got to know that like uh, we need to do something good and we need to be in almost top 20 to get a, a very good college so i started preparing uh, means with full dedication from almost uh, march mid of march and uh, so from then on like the journey was pretty good initially like i was not that good in my tests and all later on like as i went through and all like then gradually like i started uh, acquiring like how exactly to face the question of what and all are important topics and how exactly to go ahead uh, with that and then time management and all you will uh, get to know with uh, Uh, solving more and more grants and uh, uh, that helps a lot great great so uh, like what were the resources that you used uh, uh, like... the uh, the main resource was a whole of the prep ladder i recommend like this prep ladder notes and this video should be you know, completed like that should be completed that is the minimum thing and uh, this actually is the base of everything and uh, this is where we can even revise and the most important questions will be from this thing like uh, means very few questions will be apart from like this prep ladder notes and this topics otherwise most of the important topics and most of the important chapters are covered in prep ladder in detail and so like actually this is the base like you should complete each and everything in prep ladder first and uh, after that almost 250 videos odd or something is there after that like uh, uh, very important topics of especially like uh, poisoning and pediatric critical care emergency uh, means which we need to go in detail especially in neat ss and all so that needs to be done in uh, nelson uh, preferably and uh, did you read the other uh, textbooks like uh, cloherty and uh, parks uh, uh, i had uh, went through the aims protocol of uh, both uh, pico and nicu uh mm. and uh, then uh, pediatric cardiology parks pediatric cardiology i had uh, been through especially few topics and uh, cloherty i had been through in my md days after that like i just uh, went it through means re revise it uh, faster so these are my and what was your strategy for the last month last week and you know one day before the exam so what's the importance of those quick revisions <laughs> that you do okay actually like after uh, like seeing all the videos and going through the topics I one stage like we will generally get to know which topic like is more difficult or like more volatile for me it was like pediatric oncology and uh, sometimes uh, some topics of pediatric rheumatology and dermatology so these are the things that i always wanted to like put the last so that like the short term memory will be there at the last so means uh, in the last one month like uh, i decided that like i will complete all of the pediatrics uh, uh, how much ever i have read completely and then uh, uh, in the last uh, almost one week or so uh, one week to 10 days i went through all the topics especially in the notes and the slides which is there in the pediatric i uh, mean prep ladder app. and then uh, so that actually matters a lot that made a huge difference i felt even in the last day of exam like my love means I, when i don't didn't knew like what exactly to revise so that was the one thing uh, Uh, especially like the uh, slides or the weaker uh, thing which uh, means everyone will be like weaker in one particular topic or like one particular uh, this thing like i felt that like cardiology nephrology is my strength so and oncology slightly means i am weaker in that so i was more concerned about like oncology and uh, uh, some part some topics of rheumatology also so and like after going through that like i felt like most of the questions from oncology were from such notes and such videos so it made me like so much comfortable and uh, so it was like uh, too helpful sir like i am really grateful for preplatter and use thank you thank you so much for your kind words dr akshay dr akshay um, another query a lot of uh, uh, students who are listening to you they are doing their md right now uh, what how like obviously this is what, something i always say this this is something i don't need to ask even uh, that uh, when you're doing your md or dnb you should be focusing on the clinical skills but what small little things do you feel you would suggest to your juniors which will be helpful in them when they sit in the actual exam 
maybe two years or one year or one and a half years from now. Mainly like while we are uh, doing MD, the workload itself will be like too high in most of the hospital. We will not get time only like to uh, properly prepare and uh, means uh, go ahead with like super specialty most of the things. But uh, what I really feel is like after going through the MD and all, uh, we should be thorough with whatever like the rounds and the topics that were, were discussed in the rounds that plays a very important role, very, very important role that will be fixed in our mind. So even when we are reading through some of the topics, like we will be like referring uh, like indirectly to the cases which we had uh, seen and we had discussed about the differentials in such things. So means uh, going through the rounds and reading about the topics, whichever were uh, discussed at that particular point of time plays a major role, not only in their MD exams also, like even in super specialty, clinicals are like the most important thing, more than like whatever is there. So if we are strong in that uh, clinical aspect, so like we can build up our uh, conception knowledge based upon that. So that plays a very major role. And whenever we get time, like uh, means during, means after the rounds, about the cases that are admitted only like that play that is most important thing that's what i feel and uh, later on in the after the md exam whatever we read in md exam that uh, plays a major role for super speciality also so that is also like very good this is what i feel so dr akshay what are you planning to take uh plan to take dm you know uh yeah. great. great 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 yeah. So I'll be running into you someday in some conference or maybe you know, uh -huh. uh, meet and uh, share some coffee and it will be wonderful to hear your perspective. Okay. Obviously not in an I'm... interesting format, but slightly different way. So uh -huh. uh, Akshay, in the end, uh, it's never a you know single person's uh, win or uh, success. It's always a group effort. There must be some people working in the background who were of help to you. To whom do you want to dedicate this success of yours? Your family uh, members, any shout -outs? I, I really want to dedicate uh, my success to uh, my wife and my parents. So, like, especially my wife, she was very supportive. And uh, uh, it all happened because of uh, her also. So, uh, that matters a lot, sir. <laughs> Great. Behind every successful man, there is a woman. That's uh, always true. And if you have a supporting <laughs> spouse, not only just a, for, for, a, for a man, but also if you're a girl and if you have a supporting spouse or husband, I think uh, it goes a big way in uh, you cracking and, you know, getting through the exam. Yes. <laughs> so, Akshay, uh, in the end, uh, we would really like to, on behalf of the entire PrepLadder team, we would like to congratulate you on your success and we all wish and pray that uh, you be a role model for everyone and you reach the peaks of success in the field of neonatology and whatever efforts that, that you take there. So thank you so much for sparing time and uh, God bless you. All the best. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I want to... Uh, thank all of the Priplatter team and especially Dr. Sandeep, sir. Sir, your concepts are really, means the, the way you explain the concepts are really good. I have, uh, I'm really a fan of you, sir. Thank you so much, sir, for uh, all your efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.